Welcome back, everybody. I got a pretty good response from uh, you guys that you want to see some more depth on the uh, repairs and projects that I do on the boat. So we're going to do that. Um, on this one, we're going to work on the compass and the chart plotter. The compass, I need to replace the illumination behind the uh, globe in order to be able to see it at night. The original bulb that came with it was old and corroded and the wiring was in less than ideal shape so I decided to wire in a little 4 inch LED strip and uh, use that for illumination and I bought a car charger uh, power port for the chart plotter just cut the car charger end off of it and wired the positive and ground in to the existing power behind the wind instrument so you'll see that but right now what I'm doing is getting the bosun's chair all rigged up so I can hoist my wife to the top of the mast and she can take a good look at the masthead unit, make sure we don't have any issues up there, uh, get all of those potential problems fixed or out of the way before we start working on things down below to make sure we finalize it all. You can see a bit of wind, uh, the flag's flapping a bit, which means the top of the mast is definitely moving. She wasn't overly excited to go up there, but uh, she rallied. I hoisted her up there. She took it apart and did her thing, so it worked out pretty well. I thought I had video of actually hoisting her up the mast, but apparently I didn't hit the record button when I thought I did, so... Well, I really want to apologize for the quality of some of the video in these. This video and then the next video I'm going to put together as well. I've already got all the video recorded. I just have to assemble it in the movie maker. But that camera is a POS, so I'm going to be getting a different one. Like I said, I apologize for the quality. Uh, you couldn't tell how crappy it was looking through the viewfinder until you were looking at it on a computer screen. So. Once again, sorry about that. This is a picture of the original compass that came on the boat when we bought it. It's not the greatest picture, but if you look close, you can see a lot of crazing or looks like cracks throughout the glass dome. And uh, the liquid inside isn't the clearest. It's kind of a foggy liquid in there. So it was in pretty rough shape. Like I'd mentioned before in a previous video, uh, a rebuild on this, which you'll see was 220 bucks to buy one brand new it's between five to seven hundred bucks depending on where you buy them so I decided to have this one rebuilt versus buy a new one and uh, when you see the finished product it's pretty amazing okay we're gonna take the compass apart and I'm going to try and get the light that's supposed to be working in here working um, currently that is not working so I'm gonna wire that in so I'll take this apart and uh, I'll take a couple of pictures as it's coming apart so you can see what's going on there. And then I'm going to hardwire in the power for that chart plotter. I bought this here. I got to get rid of that and hardwire it into a power source. So I'm going to fix the light and get this powered up at the same time. So I'll take a couple of pictures and kind of walk you through the steps on that. You start by removing the two silver screws. There's one on either side of that black plastic piece. If your compass is original, then the black plastic piece is going to have a wire uh, attached to the inside of that black plastic with a bulb. Mine was removed so I could replace it. So when you lift up, you need to be careful. There will be some wiring attaching that black plastic to inside that silver dome. Once you've removed the two screws and pulled the black plastic piece out of the way, uh, either disconnect the power wires for the light, or if you 
hold the black plastic on the top of the dome, then you can usually slide this silver bell over it. This was a temporary light that I had just wired in to make sure that I had power uh, established to the compass itself. So once I had established the power to it, then I went ahead and moved on to the next step, which is wiring in the LED light. Okay, so what I did here is I've got power that I ran from the uh, uh, nav station up to the, the compass itself. And then I've tied into it and I've wired in these LEDs. Hey, dear, yeah. would you shut off the running lights, please? Okay, turn it back on. Okay, so now I'm going to wire that in or uh, mount that to the compass. But the first thing I got to do before I do that is pull this apart, get to the power behind it, so I can tie in and get that wired in. So I'll be back with you in just a second. The light for the globe fits right between that glass dome and where that arrow's pointing on that black piece there, just below it. It's a really small area. The, the uh, manufactured light that came with the globe is really small it fits in there just fine but that LED strip being four inches long and maybe an eighth of an inch thick maybe a little bit more fit right in between there real well without having to try and modify that black piece to fit a bigger bulb in there than what originally was intended to go there okay so I've ran the other end of the chart plotter cord wow focus hmm. Not focusing. Okay. I ran that through the bottom of this. You can see it's moving. Right here. Okay. I'm going to tie into the power back here. I've got a fuse already. So I'll tie into that power. If you look at the back of this, That's where all of the wind instrument cables come. I was saying there's like six different colored ones there. And that's that junction box that I took apart last time in the other video. I just kind of did a quick run through. All right, the compass is reassembled. It's dark out, so that's a bonus. You'll be able to see what's actually happening here. Uh, wired in the LED light, put it in behind the black cover. Um, I'll take a little more video of this tomorrow so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Go ahead and turn on the running lights. And there is the compass, lit up with a beautiful blue running light. I don't know how that's going to work at night. Uh, it might be the wrong application, but it looks good. Okay, and then we've got, let me fire up my phone so i got a flashlight here. We've got the wind instrument working. Uh, wow, bit of a glare. There we go. So we're showing a little bit of a breeze coming off of our port beam but that is now working as well uh, there's some video of us in the bosun's chair you saw earlier uh, heading up and fixing the top side so I've got that powered up I've got that light now working and we are powered up on the chart plotter go ahead and shut off the the navigation instruments Everything is now tied in together. Go ahead and turn it back on. And it's coming back on. Trying to adjust the brightness of it a bit. There. It always starts over at its medium setting. So, let me shut my phone back off so it's dark again. And there's what you see. Alrighty. Talk to you guys in a bit. 
Okay, so what I've been doing is trying to calibrate the compass with the GPS coordinates, uh, 200, what, 217 degrees, and I'm trying to get this dialed in. I'm at about uh, 215, uh, 220, about 220, and that is about 220. To calibrate it, you've got these rods right here and right here, and they run completely across. This one goes all the way over to here, and this one goes all the way to over here. And by spinning those, you can start to get things calibrated and uh, get your compass on. The one thing that I'm not quite sure about is if I'm on magnetic or true, so I'll have to look into that. And fantastic, my battery light's flashing. So I'm gonna get off of here and I'm going to swap batteries. Check back in a bit. the instrument's working, I've got uh, five, four knots, pretty much straight off the bow. I think it's wind I'm creating, I don't think there's actually a breeze. And now my depth is working too, cleaning up the connections was definitely the problem. Uh, everything seems to be functioning the way it's supposed to. Alright, the wind picked up a little bit. We've got 2.8 knots. 2.7. Sails are full, as full as they can be with roughly zero knots of wind. <laughs> uh, I think it shot up to seven. You can hear the autopilot kind of doing its chirping thing. So the autopilot's working. And we're in a hundred and 79, 180 feet of water, roughly. <clears throat> and we're offshore listening to my wife's cell phone. Sweet. Alrighty, thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to, if you haven't already, click subscribe. There will be more videos like this coming out. Um, go to our Facebook page and like us there and you will get updates that you won't see on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I don't normally throw in these videos. I just take some pictures and some small clips and I'll post them to the Facebook page. Um, appreciate you watching and we'll talk to you later.